Hey guys, welcome back to Disney Plus. Hey guys, welcome here with Strange Wing, and today we're reacting to Disney Plus's Sizzle, The Bad Batch. Well, what's the name of it? Sizzle, The Bad Batch. I think it's a sizzle reel. Yeah, it looks like it's the long the Rambo 4. I'm not really a Star Wars person, but the point of that being is when it comes to Star Wars, I don't like the Jedi stuff. I don't want like the space opera guy stuff. I like the Mandalorian stuff. I like the Rogue One stuff. I like the Han Solo stuff. And this looks like some Rogue One stuff. It looks like some war, but it didn't, it didn't hook me. You know what this needed? You need a Bill Burr's character from The Mandalorian. <laughs> the greatest Star Wars character of all time, in my opinion. Well, that's not true. but I said in my opinion, so it's not <laughs> factual. So, it is true because it's my opinion. Well, your opinion sucks. Yeah, and you like sucking toes, and I think that opinion sucks. No pun intended. Hell yeah, I suck toes! You, not liking Star Wars, haven't watched any of the other animated series or whatever. This is actually a spinoff from The Clone Wars. I couldn't tell. Huh? I couldn't tell. I know. It's a joke. I well, could tell. Because would, it said the Clone Wars and then burned away and it was the same animation style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up! Point is, you don't know who these guys are. That's okay. Yeah, they're nematodes. You're stupid. I'm super excited for this. Uh, I love Clone Wars and the Bad Batch arc in Clone Wars is absolutely phenomenal. So, I'm super stoked for this. I also really love, like, you know, one of the biggest questions that Star Wars hasn't answered is what the heck happened to all those clones after Episode 3, right? Because it's like when you get to Episode 4, they're not there. And like, yeah, we can assume maybe some of them became stormtroopers. Maybe some of them, they maybe they killed them off. Whatever. It might be answered in some of the books or something. I haven't read all of them yet. But I love the fact that they're touching on that because that's something that is really, really intriguing to me. I love all of Star Wars, but I do really love it when we get this separation from what is going on with the Jedi and the Sith and what is going on with the rest of the world and that kind of stuff. So I also, you know, love all those things that you said you love. I'm super excited about this. Clone Wars had a lot of like, I guess what I would call stuff for the kids in there. Like a lot of humor, a lot of just kind of like, and it's like silly, you know, like kids cartoon, like slapsticky style humor. And I'm totally fine with that. But this trailer was almost, this trailer was like 98% just straight up like war style action. And then there was that one little moment with the droids where it was like, we had that little bit of kid stuff. So I'm wondering if it's going to be a lot more serious than the Clone Wars and Rebels. And if so, I'm 100% here for it. If not, I'm still 100% here for it. I'm going to consume everything that is Star Wars always. So even though I'm not going to watch this, this trailer makes me really, really happy. Do you know why? 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 Because you love this. Oh. And I love you. Because you need to see good things in your life like this. I mean, you went through a rough patch where you saw a lot of nasty stuff when your overweight grandmother had a hysterectomy and you had to give her a sponge bath three times a week. Hmm. You didn't deserve that. Dark times. And I've seen your grandma. Ugh. Tell us what you thought about Bad Batch down in the comment section below. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video. And subscribe.
It's not a game, it's a real.